Uh, Klaus, thanks for the invitation onto the Huachon stand. Um, you're vice president of the company, yeah. is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. I take care of the worldwide sales and marketing, be involved also for R&D, new the machine developments and things like this, ideas, etc. Okay, let, let, let's talk about this particular model here, this C1, quite a fascinating machine. The biggest draw to this machine for me is the tool changer, isn't it? What sort of advantage does that give a manufacturer? Well, parts are getting more and more complex everywhere. And um, the mass production, really the big mass production, is also reducing to smaller batches. So the problem with what customers are always facing is that the machine never has enough standard tools in the machine, in the system. So with the more modern manufacturing of uh, high mix, low volume, that means the customer need to change over the machine from part to part more frequently. For this, we have designed a machine where practically the standard turret has 18 position, but in an additional magazine, which is then hidden in the machine, we have another 12 position. So in total, we have a total of 29 tools available without interference. Okay, what, what, what is the tool, Matt? Is, there a, is this a Capto system? Yes, correct. The live tools or the sender tools in the turret can be changed by Capto C4. Okay, what, how long does it take, for example, to put take a tool from the magazine here and put it into the turret? Is it quite a quick operation? Well, it's not as quick a machining center, but 18 seconds uh, in the run of a turning center is pretty good. Is this unique to Huachong? Because I don't, I haven't seen this very often on other machine tool manufacturers' yeah. machines. Of course, you've got big mill turn machines yeah. with yeah. bigger ATCs yeah. on them, but, yeah. but in this style, changing into the turret. Our strategy was exactly to position this machine between a so-called B-axis machine and, let's say, a standard 3-axis, 4-axis lace. Okay, so it's in the middle inside, provides more possibilities and more capabilities really. As I say, high mix, low volume, that is the key point today. Uh, do you have a Y axis on this machine as well or is it? Yeah, sure. It's a six axis machine practically, including the Y axis. And, and it's a true Y axis, not a wedge type or something. This is what I was going to say, because yeah. looking at the machine here, it doesn't look like your traditional slant bed no, lathe, does no. it? No, it's not a slant bed. It's actually a traveling column where the tur turret is mounted on and it provides really a clean, straight movement. Do you think that gives you better rigidity and better machining performance having that, uh, the way this machine's made? Yeah. yeah, certainly. I mean, number one, this little machine weighs a total of 11 tons, okay? And we are using really high quality roller guideways, linear roller guideways from a reputable German brand, okay? So this gives really the whole machine, even the small size, a very good repeatability and strength of the machine. Uh, final question on this, is this the only size that you do with this tool changing facility? This was actually the first one, with basically a 6 inch with an option of an 8 inch chuck, but now because of the market demand we have developed also the C2, which is then an 8 inch optional 10 inch chuck machine.